Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. What's going on everyone and welcome to the channel where today I'm over at good old B-dubs. It's time to check out the other version of their all new boneless bar pizzas they've got on their menu for a limited time only. And guys, I gotta say, this one's looking like a work of art. Feast your eyes on what I've got here for you. Here we go with the Buffalo Boneless Bar Pizza. A very nice situation of colorful goodness in front of us here right now, guys. Let's break this one on down real fast. All right, so what we've got here for this version is obviously that thin crust on the bottom topped off with boneless wings, ranch, medium buffalo sauce, blue cheese crumbles, pickled hot peppers, and green onions. And again, guys, a work of art. This is looking very colorful, and I'm loving that ranch drizzle all around this one here. This one is looking really nice, and I gotta say, not only does it look really nice, it smells pretty nice too. There's lots of hints of buffalo in the air with this one. So let's not waste any more time on it, guys. This is the all-new Buffalo Boneless Bar Pizza here at B-Dubs. Let's peep out this flavor. Yes, sir, I'm definitely digging the picture-perfect presentation with this one, guys. This looks really, really nice, almost like it could be like used in the ad. This is really nice. I just ordered this direct like I always do, and this is what I got. Pretty awesome here. So let me pick up one of these pieces. We'll get this going here. Very, very nice. As you can see, lots of toppings. The drizzling of that ranch is pretty awesome. The bottom looks like it could be cooked a little bit longer, maybe just a little bit, about a minute or so, but this is looking really nice. Here we go, guys. The Buffalo Boneless Bar Pizza here at B-Dubs. Let's peep this out. Mmm. Mmm. Well, right off the break, I gotta tell you, I'm not a super fan of blue cheese. I mean, I never really have been, but when you combine it with ranch, I have to admit, even though the flavor is still kind of there for me, it's not my all-time favorite, I'm definitely digging the overall tang and tartness of the ranch and a decent amount of the mozzarella cheese, which I think I failed to mention that initial close-up. You can't really call this a pizza without cheese on it, right? So there is an okay amount on here, but guys, the flavor is pretty nice and the buffalo sauce is pretty beautiful on this here. Let's go for another couple of bites. Very, very tasty. In fact, let me just pull part of this off here. See if I can try and balance a little bit of the pepper action on it. Here we go there. Let's try it with that pepper action. Here we go. Mmm. Definitely. Those hot peppers, kind of steamy. Hang on. Not bad. Not bad at all. Buffalo sauce is really beginning to kick in. And wow, guys. Very tasty on the boneless chicken itself. This seems a lot more flavorful than the honey barbecue variant of this one here. And the combination is working pretty nicely. But just like that previous version, I think I alluded to it in that review, this is more of a focaccia type of situation. Not necessarily pizza in the traditional sense, but naturally pretty tasty for what this is. Let's go for another few more bites on it. Mmm. Pretty good. Let's pull up another one of these bad boys, guys. I'm totally digging the even distribution of the toppings on this one with the green onions especially. It's a nice garnishment to add even more color to this one. And overall with those hot peppers and the cheese and of course all the boneless chicken action, this is pretty tasty. Definitely a really tasty appetizer situation with a nice amount of that ranch drizzle. I am totally digging that, of course. Yeah, nothing against the honey barbecue. That was pretty tasty as well, but this just works on so many different levels, strictly because I think the blue cheese and the ranch is really kind of interesting to me right now, on top of the buffalo sauce, and naturally the light, light toastiness that I'm getting from the actual crust here. I wish it could be just a little bit toastier on the very bottom. It looks like it needs maybe 30 seconds to a minute more, but still very, very flavorful. Let's go for a couple more bites on this. Mmm. Very nice. So yeah, I'm glad I saved this variation to go in on last, guys, because I think had I started off with this one first, this would have been a very, very tough act to follow. And naturally, with the honey barbecue being what it was, this clearly is the better of the two as far as I'm concerned, in my humble opinion. But guys, very, very tasty on this one. And the combination of the ranch on this, of course, with the cheese is lovely. Even with the blue cheese, which is kind of there and kind of muting a little bit of the ranch, but I'm totally digging the fact that the ranch is really standing out on top of the buffalo sauce. Very, very nice with a decent amount of the boneless chicken. So... Let's go for one more bite. We'll wrap the review up with the rating coming up next. But I'm so glad to have checked this one out, guys, because how could I not? Considering there's two of these available on the menu, of course, I wanted to give you the full rounded picture of both of these. So very tasty. We'll go for one more bite and we'll wrap it up. Hang on. Mm. Well, this is definitely a super flavorful boneless bar pizza over here at B-Dubs, AKA a super focaccia as far as I'm concerned, guys. I'm totally digging the overall flavor combo of that ranch and blue cheese, believe it or not. And it goes beautifully with that hot buffalo sauce on top of the pickled hot peppers and of course the chicken and a fairly decent amount of mozzarella cheese. A nice combination and easily one to check out. This is pretty tasty. Buffalo Wild Wings.
So with that said, I'm gonna have to give the Buffalo Boneless quote unquote bar pizza, AKA the super focaccia as far as I'm concerned, a pretty awesome nine out of 10 over here at B-Dubs. Guys, it really is a pretty tasty situation. And like I said, the combination of the ranch and the blue cheese goes amazing with that Buffalo sauce. It's very hearty to dive into. I just wish it was cooked just a little bit more on the bottom, but overall a super tasty appetizer for sure. Or if you wanna make that a meal, go for it. It's not bad in terms of the size. All right, so do me a quick favor like always, drop those comments down below. If you've given any of these bar pizzas a shot over here at B-Dubs, especially if you've tried both of them, which is your personal favorite and why? And out of both of my reviews that I have live now for you, which did you think looked the best, this variation or the honey barbecue? Drop those comments down below, and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for that next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Yes, sir. Definitely a beautiful presentation on this one from Buffalo Wings for sure. And now I'm only hoping we come out with some different variations in the future because the execution on this one was pretty banging. All right, everyone. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something like in both of them and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.